everyone, welcome to another part of my video series uh, for overweight cyclists. So in this part I'll be talking about climbing. Uh, so obviously climbing is something uh, I'd say a hot topic especially for cyclists and for overweight cyclists as well. Um, obviously with uh, being overweight you're carrying extra weight and um, obviously going up you're essentially trying to defy gravity essentially. Um, so defying gravity, um, well not defying gravity but you know going against it essentially uh, requires a lot more strength, a lot more power um, and it, it may not even be worth it so I'll, I'll discuss a few, a few points in it right so um, obviously cycling up hills for cardiovascular fitness it's perfect, uh, that's good um, you know if, if you do like the being sort of like lean, lean back kind of position uh, personally, I, I don't like it. I don't like climbing. Uh, never have. Even since I've been um, uh, obviously a lot slimmer, uh, it's personally not something I enjoy. Uh, I don't like the, um, the sweat uh, dripping, but there's no wind, so it's like uh, it just drips all over you. And uh, for me personally, if I have sweat run down my nose, it makes my whole body shiver. It's like somebody tickling me or something. Um, so anyway, enough about um, enough about that. So that obviously that's uh, one issue that you may have to think about, um, whether you enjoy that or not. Uh, but yeah, the main issue is going to be um, your weight essentially. So if you're 60 kilos and you're on a, I don't know, five kilo carbon bike, you're going to be 65 kilos gross weight essentially, right? Uh, net weight, sorry, um, going up up the hill, right? Now, if you're someone overweight, if you're 100 kilos and maybe you've just got an uh, aluminum bike and you know that's 10 kilos, that's 110 kilos. So you're going to be probably twice, a uh, minimum, twice as slow. Uh, bearing in mind, you're probably not going to be as fit as well. So you're going to be twice as slow um, as the as the other person. Uh, so for a start, if you are uh, looking to go up hills and you're overweight, don't even think about times. Don't even think about beating uh, Joe Bloggs or getting a KOM or time trialing or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, the only person you can beat is you and people around your weight. Uh, I'm, I was certainly, when I tried, you know, uh, I was certainly never looking to, um, when I used to go up the mountain, I was never looking to beat other people or whoever, right? I was just looking to beat myself. Uh, so make it more of a challenge about yourself if you are going uphill. Um, another thing as well is uh, hill training if you are severely overweight uh, is definitely, definitely not going to be good for weight loss because you're going to, even going up a small incline, I remember when I first started and I was you know, trying to go up the mountain and my heart rate was like 170, 180, basically in zone 4, zone 5. Uh, now A, that's not sustainable to do daily. B, um, well, and especially for a long period of time. I mean, if I did it like 10 minutes daily, it might be, but if I'm gonna try and go up the whole thing each day, not sustainable whatsoever. Um, and it's gonna be almost impossible for me to put out the amount of power needed to get up the hill with me not in a zone zone three, zone four, uh, zone four, zone five, whatever, right? So now uh, I, can, I can climb very comfortably at like zone one zone two you know because I haven't got a heavy weight and obviously my zones are higher because I'm much fitter uh, than I used to be however if you're going to try and go up anything over about five percent and you're um, let's say 250 pounds or over uh, I wouldn't even bother trying for weight loss you want to be in zone two zone zone three max really but zone three isn't sustainable to do for too long a period of time like you can't do zone zone three for like three hours each day or two hours each day uh, you know unless you're fucking professional or whatever right um, so anyway I would recommend uh, I wouldn't recommend cycling for overweight uh, cyclists uh, se severely overweight anyway I mean if you're 10 20 kilos overweight then yeah have at it but uh, I wouldn't recommend it if you if you're looking for weight loss uh, you're not gonna find weight loss on the hills unless you're uh, like I said n much nearer your weight goal um, so you're certainly not going to find it like going up the hills at like zone four, zone five, you know, if you're 300 pounds. Um, so anyone who says that you're going to get weight loss uphill, you might get weight loss, water weight, not fat. 
um, all you're going to be burning is glycogen, basically yesterday's dinner. Um, so that's, uh, I thought I'd discuss that. Uh, gearing is another thing I'm going to go into in another video because it deserves a whole, whole another video designed for it. So let me know what you think uh, about my advice for uh, obviously fat people, <laughs> overweight people will say. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If this is something, um, you, you know, if this is something that you, 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 you like, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more if you know. And yeah, um, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for more videos. And I'll see you in the next video, in the next series.